In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix DirectX 12 not working on Fortnite. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. For this video, I'm gonna show you plenty of methods that you can follow to ensure that DirectX 12 works with Fortnite. So the first one, and by far the most obvious, is to try going over into the menu and then the settings, and in here, make sure that you have the option selected. It might seem obvious, but some people simply don't switch from DirectX 11 to 12. If you tried this before and the option is either grayed out or it just keeps resetting back to 11, then I'm gonna show you the fixes that I mentioned in the beginning. But just ensure that you have the option selected here first before trying them out. So I'm gonna close down Fortnite and for the first one, open the Epic Games Launcher. Inside of the launcher, go over to your library, right click Fortnite or click these little three icons here, go into manage and enable the launch options. So tick this box and what you can do here is type dash D3D12. So as the name suggests, what this is going to do is force the game to run on Direct X12. A good way to figure out if your GPU or your computer has the latest version of DirectX available is to open the Windows search function and look for DXDiag, so short for diagnostic. So once you search for DXDAG and you open it up, you will be able to find information about your system and one of the lines is going to be this, the last one. DirectX version, DirectX 12. If it says DirectX 12, then you should ha shouldn't have any issues, including DirectX 12 over here in the launch options and opening up the game. It is going to be forced to run on the X12 and you will be good to go. However, sometimes you might not be able to use DirectX 12. By including this, you can maybe force the game to run, but I can't guarantee that it is going to work for older hardware. With this out of the way, if you are still unable to use it, the next thing to do is try to update DirectX. So visit the official Microsoft website and look for DirectX end, time, end user runtime installer or simply Microsoft DirectX on Google and make sure that you arrive at this page. Download the exe file here and run the setup. I won't show this full process on screen because I already have DirectX in installed, but all you have to do is accept the agreement, click next and then proceed with the installation. Once it is done, restart your computer and try again. If it still doesn't work, the last option that you have is to update the display adapters drivers. So look for device manager through the Windows search bar and under your display adapters, right click your display adapter and then update driver. Search automatically and try again. Alternatively, if you have something like an NVIDIA GeForce RTX GPU or an AMD GPU like so, I recommend that you visit the official website and you download the specific drivers instead of using the Windows Update Driver option. So for example, let's say you have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, 3070, 4070, etc. Just note down the model name here, visit the NVIDIA website and include the details about your GPU. So the product type GeForce RTX 40 series and then 4070, 48, etc. Make sure that you download the latest version available of the drivers and once the process is done, like I said, restart your computer and try again. If all of this doesn't work, then unfortunately your specific hardware does not allow the usage of DirectX 12 and there isn't much that you can do. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix DirectX 12 not working on Fortnite. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.